so before the video starts i just wanted to say that i sat down to start editing it and i realized you can hear ella's white noise machine in her room the entire time um that's the only way that she will sleep so sorry if you could hear it i put some background music over it so hopefully that helps but i think you can still hear it but just try to ignore it what's up guys it's bailey again and i'm here to do my 32 week pregnancy update i turn it's currently thursday and i my weeks switch over on tuesday so on tuesday i had a doctor's appointment um, i'll get into that in just a minute and i'll also talk about my symptoms and just how i've been feeling lately i'll go ahead and start with my symptoms because that's the easiest part the last pregnancy update i did i did it really plan it out too good. I didn't take time to sit down and think about all the symptoms I've been having, but I have been having, you know, pretty mild symptoms, nothing really extreme. I do have notes. If you see me looking down a lot, that's just because I have a little notebook and I took, I actually wrote down what I'm gonna talk about in this video. But um, the main symptoms I've been having is numb legs and like restless legs. Um, I started seeing a chiropractor for the first time on Tuesday and he said that there's just a lot of pressure on my hip joints and it's causing my legs to be numb. So hopefully with the chiropractic appointments that will get better, but I'm not sure yet because I've only had one and they're still numb, so I don't know if it's going to get better. But I've also have been having a ton of hip pain. I have really bad hips. Um, just in general and they have been really hurting lately. I have also been still having intense heartburn. The past few nights I have had to take antacids which I've been trying not to do because I just don't like to take anything besides a prenatal when I'm pregnant but the heartburn has been so bad that as soon as I lay down to sleep it like it feels like I'm choking and I can't sleep so I've been having to take antacids at night a little bit and with that kind of goes the fact that I am extremely tired because I cannot sleep well anymore. I have a pregnancy pillow, I've been using that, I've been taking antacids before bed but I still cannot sleep and so I have been extremely tired. I even took a nap yesterday which I'm not a nap person. I had to have Aaron stay up with the kids. I babysit a few kids from the day and I had to have him stay up. Luckily, Ella was the only one awake. So he just stayed up with Ella, but I told him I need to go to Other than that, my symptoms are, they're all just pretty regular. I've been pretty irritable and my boobs have been sore, but I also think that I'm getting my milk in, sort of, or at least more milk is coming back because I still breastfeed Ella. And she has been asking me to breastfeed so much more. So I think I might have more milk now because I think she was realizing that there was none left. And so she kind of weaned herself off. But now I think she realized that it's coming back and <laughs> she wants to breastfeed all the time now. So anyway, I think that's been good for her because she is definitely a mama's girl and she has just been loving having more milk lately. <laughs> so a girl named Amy commented on my last video and asked if I had any embarrassing symptoms or like TMI stuff. And the only one that I could think of is that I have honestly peed my pants more times than I like to admit. Like as soon as I sneeze or I cough or like anything like that, I squat down. Let's just say if I'm not ready for it, I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> and, but also on the flip side of that, if I feel like I have to pee all the time. But a lot of times when I go to sit down to pee, I can't. So I don't know, I don't have any like UTIs or anything like that. I think it's just a lot of pressure on my bladder from the baby. But yeah, my doctor said she would let me know if there was a UTI and she hasn't. So I just thought it was really weird and kind of funny because I honestly, maybe a week ago, I full on peed my pants in my kitchen because I sneezed out of nowhere. And it was funny. Aaron makes fun of me for it, but you know, it's, it's normal, but it's kind of embarrassing. I also wanted to talk a little bit about um, how much weight I've gained. 
I can't really remember at the beginning of my pregnancy if I weighed 180 or 183. I'm pretty sure it was 183 at my first doctor's appointment. And I just weighed myself yesterday and I weigh 192 now. So I've gained, I think, nine pounds all around, either nine or um, 12 pounds, somewhere in there, which I think is like right on track with how much I gained when I was pregnant with Ella. When I was pregnant with Ella, I actually had really bad morning sickness, so I lost 20 pounds in the beginning of my pregnancy, and I only ever gained 10 back. So that time around, I was still down 10 pounds when I gave birth to her, but I didn't have very horrible morning sickness this time. I had it, but it's not, it wasn't as bad as it was with her. So I didn't end up losing weight, and I gained around 10 pounds. I'll probably gain more weight this time because I'm already at that 10 pound mark. But yeah, I don't I don't typically gain a ton of weight. I think most people say, most doctors say between 20 and 40 pounds is normal. I think uh, average like one pound a week is normal. But my doctor's not concerned about how much weight I've gained. I'm just, I just don't put on a lot of weight. I also don't get very big. If you saw my other belly shot, I just have a really long torso and so the baby has lots of room to stretch out up and down in my in my torso instead of going out like I think most people grow. But anyway, speaking of that, I'll just go ahead and do a little belly shot now. said I don't get very big around which I guess kind of leads into the next thing that I wanted to talk about um, but basically just that I don't feel pregnant I still kind of just feel like I'm getting fat and like even though I know I'm pregnant I just don't I don't feel great about myself right now and also kind of because of COVID as well I haven't been able to like go out and do anything pregnancy related or even when I was pregnant with Ella I worked at a restaurant so I would be able to talk about the fact that I was pregnant to my customers and I work from home now and I just don't I don't no one sees me I don't get to say like oh yeah I'm 32 weeks pregnant now so on top of feeling like I don't look pregnant I also don't even get to like talk about it ever, which has kind of made me, I don't want to say depressed, but just like pretty sad. I've been in kind of a rut lately. And also we haven't bought many things for this baby. I think the only things we really bought were like a Christmas outfit because she's going to be a newborn and all of Ella's Christmas stuff was six month stuff. So we've only bought like a Christmas outfit and maybe like two other things for her because we do have so much stuff from Ella. We have so many clothes and I need to sort through them. I might make a video about it when I when I do sort through them. So leave a comment down below if you want me to do that because I have tubs and tubs of clothes and I want to sort through them and like put them away in her drawers and stuff. But yeah, I feel like with Ella at 32 weeks, I had my hospital bag packed, we had her crib set up, we had her like her whole room done. And with this baby, we aren't buying a new crib because by the time she's six months old, when I think we're probably going to be about ready to move her into her own room, we're going to be moving out of our apartment. So I don't even think we're going to be buying a crib, we're just going to be buying a bassinet or possibly just using the pack and play that we already have. So we don't really have much that we need to buy for her. So I really don't feel like I'm ready at all. We haven't bought anything. I don't think I'm gonna have a baby shower because I haven't planned it at all. And my family, well, my mom anyways, doesn't think I should have one. So I don't know, I just feel like I haven't got to enjoy being pregnant at all. And I didn't mean for this video to be so like down in the dumps, but it's just how I've been feeling lately. And I don't know, this pregnancy has just been very different from my first. Another thing that I just found out at my doctor's appointment on Tuesday is that this, I switched doctors kind of in the middle of my pregnancy. 
and this doctor that I'm going to now said that she doesn't do third trimester ultrasounds unless it's needed and she said that I won't need one. So I'm, I'm really disappointed because Aaron hasn't got to go to, like, I think I've had three ultrasounds and he hasn't got to go to any of them. And so now that the COVID restrictions are kind of being lifted in my area, men are allowed back into appointments. And I really thought that we were gonna have another ultrasound and that he was gonna get to go. That hit me pretty hard. Um, I'm really sad about that because I, he hasn't got to experience anything really this pregnancy. I don't know, it just makes me sad for him because I know that he like wanted to be involved. And even when I found out I was pregnant, he was saying like, oh, I'm gonna be at every appointment. It's gonna be so great. I can't wait to see the baby, blah, blah, blah. And he hasn't got to do any of that. So I don't know, it's just been kind of rough. I've been kind of down lately, very unmotivated. But also like I feel the <laughs> nesting urge. So I don't know, it's like I want to do all these things but I'm so unmotivated so that I feel like I'm not doing anything and I feel lazy. This pregnancy has just been really weird. Hopefully it'll get better towards the end. We only have two months left. But I think with the holidays coming up and stuff, we'll have we'll be like putting all our decorations out and the mood will just be happier, I think, around here. So yeah, I didn't mean to make this video so sad. I kind of just started talking. I wrote down some notes, but I just started talking and then it turned into this rant. But leave a comment on more videos that I can make and give this video a like because it will really help us out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I think I'll be posting more pregnancy updates probably every two weeks, maybe every week towards the end. But anyway, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.